Smolly Wave Springs reduce spring heights by up to 50%. Our Spiralox retaining rings have no ears to interfere with an assembly. Over 10,000 standard parts are stocked in carbon and stainless steel with samples readily available to test in your application. Today on Engineering Newswire, we're growing fully functional parts, redesigning the rickshaw, and using a holometer to determine whether or not we live in a hologram. It's heavy stuff. Chris's story questions all we know and claim to be. There's an old philosophical thought experiment that is known as the experience machine. Essentially, the experiment toys with the idea of living in a machine that simulates life. So, basically it's the Matrix, but way before Keanu Reeves even decided to go on an excellent adventure. No way! Now the U.S. Department of Energy's Fermi National Accelerator Laboratory has started collecting data to determine whether or not we live in a hologram. It's some deep stuff. If you get close enough to a TV, eventually you can see individual pixels. The researchers plan to take data to the ultimate degree as they attempt to find a single pixel of our space. In fact, they're proposing that one pixel is 10 trillion trillion times smaller than an atom, a distance that physicists refer to as the Planck scale. The holometer at Fermi uses a pair of interferometers that send a one kilowatt laser beam at a splitter and down two perpendicular 40 meter arms. The light is then reflected back to the beam splitter where the two beams recombine, creating fluctuations in brightness if there's motion. By analyzing these fluctuations, the researchers can remove background noise. The key is when they can no longer remove noise. That noise could be intrinsic to space-time and help us not only understand how space works, but it could in fact be the smallest pixel of our reality. No big deal. You know, just shaking the whole concept of reality. We're on a computer and aliens are controlling our lives. Just a big experiment. Pawns on the board to be or not to be and, and all that and all that stuff. Yeah. Philosophy. Philosophize me something. A few months ago, the fine people at Synergeering visited our Madison office to discuss new additive manufacturing processes for larger, fully functioning prototype parts. Based in Farmington Hills, Michigan, the company uses a modified laser sintering process to grow parts in 0.15 millimeter layers of rapid nylon, a proprietary concoction of glass-filled nylon powder material that is comparable to thermoplastic and has even been used to replace aluminum components. Well, according to the company, the glass filler creates extremely rigid parts with a glass transition temp of 138 degrees C, which is particularly helpful in harsh environments. The components even have a satin-like post-processing surface finish. The prototype parts are used during development to complete earlier testing and prove part functionality before tooling is cut. They even brought in a few parts for us to play with. Like this. What is this? That's a fully functioning rapid nylon V6 intake manifold built using additive manufacturing and used for developmental testing. Thanks, Lindsay. Along with the V6 intake, rapid nylon parts have also been used in NASA's Nanolite rocket launch and this brain, which was printed after a patient's MRI scans were converted into working CAD models. Well, Tom and Lindsay couldn't leave me with a V6 intake, but they did leave me with this. Ha! Ah, cool. It doesn't have the same, uh, same sex appeal as their tagline. Synergeering. Are your parts fully functional? Oh, oh! Yeah, can we see that again? No? Why not? All right. Good news for those of us who are too lazy to walk, or those who are just in no shape to. Working with Madison's design concepts, Coaster Pedicab has spent the last year developing an all-new cycle-drawn rickshaw, getting insight from builders, riders, and even real pedicab drivers from the Coaster Tribe. That's their legion of pedicab disciples. The Coaster is a new design that features durable telescoping canopies and rain flies that will come in handy during inclement weather. After all, this thing is being used in Boston. A weatherproof electrical system also protects against the elements and both hydraulic and mechanical disc braking systems ensure safe stopping. The Coaster also features increased cab and canopy lighting, a lower sidestep for easier passenger access, 
and an onboard USB charging stations so you can get enough juice for that inappropriate drug dial while someone else carries you home. Take me home, didn't it? I don't know. Why not just plug in your iPad and queue up a good movie for the ride? To each their own. While the pedicab is currently only available in Boston and Rhode Island, the company is building five additional prototypes for other locations throughout the country. Do you have story ideas? Comment below and we'll cover them in the next episode. For the PD&D channel, I'm David Manti, and this has been your Engineering Newswire.